What is the commons? Commoning as its lifeblood. The commons is the social and political space where things get done and where people have a sense of belonging and have an element of control over their lives, providing sustenance, security and independence. It gives voice to civil society and helps us to learn new social practices. Imagine a political, economic and social system beyond capitalism or communism. There are local, regional and global commons. Three ways to describe the global commons. Those resources that are shared by all of humanity, such as the sky, the oceans, the internet, human knowledge or even the planet itself. The sum of all various local and regional commons across the world and an operating assumption espousing that the natural resources of the earth and the cultural resources of humanity are to be sustainably and equitably stewarded for the benefit of all, both now and in the future. Through commoning in the digital age, we can go beyond the back-to-nature romantic notions of past commons and harness technology to enhance all of our local to global commons. This is one of the reasons why we believe the commons has the potential to reach the hearts and minds of millions in the years to come, just like the environmental movement did in the 80s. Rather than these square boxes, we see each commons more like a semi-permeable cellular membrane, with each commons coexisting as a mutually enriching part of a larger whole organic life form. In a commons, we have a resource, or several resources, that the commoners wish to take stewardship of. Resources fall into three broad categories. The biosphere, natural and inherited, including, among many, the soil, agriculture, fisheries, forests, wetlands, pastures, and so on. And the physiosphere, the material and common stock, amongst these including technology, hardware, buildings, hydropower, beaches, oceans, and so on. And the newer sphere, the immaterial and cultural commons, such as indigenous cultures, traditions, neighbourhoods, music, dance, the arts, and stores of human knowledge and wisdom. It's this area that is very interesting in the context of capitalism. This is the domain of the biopolitical, coined by the autonomists, Foucault and now Hart and Negri in their book Commonwealth. Capitalism begins, in their words, to rein in subjectivities. As the capitalist machine, fueled by money as debt, moves its no limits to growth paradigm into these domains. Slavoj Zizek argues that knowledge is an anti-capitalist commodity, and so in the end, coupled with all the natural, social and political crises that converge upon us in these times, it points towards the need for capitalism to upgrade itself for its own survival sake, this time to include recognition of all these commons essential to life. So let's take a fishery as our resource, and the people self-organising around it and each having their own roles. Here's a set of examples, and a set of customs or rules may be enshrined in a social charter. As the commoners take care of and enrich the fishery, the four qualities of social organisation, co-production, co-property and co-governance will be present to varying degrees, depending on the nature of the commons and the degree to which it is a commons. From this, sustainable and co-produced value is generated. One key principle of the commons is in James Quilligan's words, when resource users become producers of their own resources, ending the division of labour and the hierarchical management of resources. Following social media expert Alex Brun's terminology, the term producer is perhaps more accurate in this new narrative. So let's change that. This, however, leads to a, a deeper realisation that the roles and rules of the commons are not fixed and may well represent a snapshot in time. To really discover what is a commons, one has to engage in the territory rather than the maps. When we engage with the territory of the commons, what really knits the successful commons together are commoning relationships, which acts like the lifeblood of the commons, learning, managing and reproducing the commons together.